Nearly a week ago, Earl Wayner with the NTSB announced divers had recovered the black box recording system from the sunken Ride the Ducks boat. It's on its way to Washington, D.C., even as we speak, to be processed in the NTSB labs there, dried out, and as soon as it's available uh, in reasonable condition, we'll uh, read that out, analyze what the contents show us. Now the contents of that system, stored in an SD card, have been analyzed. Five channels of video, four facing outward, one facing inward. Audio was also recorded, but not all of it is clear at this point. Recording lasted over a period of about 41 minutes, from 6.27 p.m. to 7.08 p.m. when the recording cut out. At 6.28, the crew was told to take the water portion of the tour first by a crew member who briefly stepped on board. By 6.50, passengers were on the boat and a safety briefing was conducted for the water portion of the tour, including where life jackets were located and how to put one on. 6.55, the boat was in the water and the water appeared calm. By 7 p.m., winds increased rapidly and water conditions became intense, creating white caps and waves. That's when the driver lowered the port as well as the clear plastic side curtains on the boat meant to keep passengers from getting wet. At 7.01, the captain can be heard commenting on the storm and made radio calls at 7.03 and 7.05. In the final minutes of the recording, water can be seen splashing inside the boat, but the NTSB says low video quality made it hard to be precise on exactly what occurred. Finally, at 7.08, while the vehicle is still on the surface, the inward-facing camera on the boat stops recording.